Welcome to the Daily Dad Podcast, where we provide one lesson every day to help you with your most important job, being a dad. These are lessons inspired by ancient philosophy, by practical wisdom, and insights from dads all over the world. Thank you for listening, and we hope this helps. You are only as happy as your unhappiest child. In 2013, two of Jack Harbaugh's kids were coaching each other in the Super Bowl. They had led their respective teams to the NFL promised land, achieving success at the highest level of organized football. And now they were going to play their game their family loved in front of 71,000 people and more than 150 million viewers on television. Pretty incredible, yeah? How could a father not be filled with pride and joy? And Jack absolutely was, but he experienced another emotion simultaneously, sadness, a kind of pit in his stomach. Why? Because he also knew that very shortly one of his children would lose a Super Bowl, falling short in front of those same millions of people. All we want is for our kids to be happy, all of our kids, to have one gain at the expense of another. Could you design a more vexing predicament for a parent? Reflecting on the game, Harbaugh would note that a parent is only as happy as their unhappiest child. And what a perfect expression of this crazy journey we're on. We might love the snow, but if one of our kids is cold and tired, nobody is going to be having any fun. It doesn't matter if our career is going great, but if one of our kids is struggling in school, we're not going to feel all that good about the raise or the promotion or the new client. If two of our kids are thriving, but one is just checked into rehab, we're going to feel like we've totally screwed up as parents. That old cliche about a chain being as strong as its weakest link, it's true in many areas of life. A Navy SEAL boat crew is only as fast as its slowest member. A football team's defense is only as good as its worst tackling player. And a parent is only as happy as their unhappiest child. An unhappy child does not mean that you failed, obviously. Jack Harbaugh is a testament to that. But it does mean that empathy should temper pride, not the other way around. And it's also a good reminder that happiness, yours or theirs, should never be the ultimate measure of your work as a parent. Hey, thanks for listening to the Daily Dad Podcast. Please leave us a review. It helps. Tell your friends. Share this with other dads. And of course, you can sign up for an email version of this podcast at dailydad.com.